Problem 2, Topic C1, Atomic Structure in the Periodic Table for GCSE Chemistry. This tutorial will cover Part 2, Mixtures. First of all, let's just familiarise ourselves with the keywords. So an atom, an element, and a compound, and a mixture. An atom is the smallest particle of a substance. An element is made up of the same atoms and found in the periodic table. A compound is when the elements join together. A mixture is when substances join together, but not chemically. And that then means that they can be separated because there's no chemical bonds. For example, air is a mixture of different gases. It contains oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon. A mixture has the properties of the substances it is made from because it's not making anything new. Now, because it's a mixture, they can be separated. So you will need to know the different ways substances can be separated. And these are part of the practicals that you will also need to know for the GCSE. So let's start with filtration. So filtering or filtration is used to separate insoluble solids from liquids, like sand and water, substances that don't dissolve. And for filtration, you need filter paper and a filter funnel. When you carry out filtration, the liquid that moves through the paper is called the filtrate, and whatever's left behind is called the residue. In this example here, it shows you how a solid is kept at the top there, so that could be sand and then water that passes through. Another practical is crystallisation and evaporation. This is used to separate soluble solids from solutions, so substances that do dissolve, like salt in water. And how this is done is through heating slowly in an evaporating basin as shown. When this happens, some of the solvent, so some of the liquid, will evaporate. The solution becomes more and more concentrated. If you then remove it from the heat and leave to cool, crystals of the soluble solid will start to form in the basin. So it's called crystallisation. You can use filtration and crystallisation to separate rock salt. Rock salt is a mixture. It's made of salt and sand and it occurs naturally. First thing you would do is grind it with the pestle and mortar, so it's increasing the surface area, so it's smaller. Then you would add to water. When you add it to water, the sand will not dissolve, but the water will, with the water, but the salt will. You will then filter this mixture. When you filter it, the sand will collect in the top, in the filter paper, and the salt water will pass through. The final stage would then to be evaporate salt water, and the water will evaporate into the air and you'll be left with the salt crystals. Another way to separate is distillation. Distillation is used to separate mixtures of liquids. And it's based on the fact that different liquids have different boiling points. To do this, you need the apparatus as shown here. You heat the solution in a round bottom flask. You can use a Bunsen burner. And as the liquid inside the solution starts to heat up, it starts to evaporate when it reaches its boiling point. So for water, that would be 100 degrees. As the vapour rises, it then moves into the condenser where it cools down and turns back into a liquid. So by doing this, you can separate out seawater, which is salt water. What you would do is you place the salty water in the round bottom, bottom flask, heat it, the water vapour starts to rise at 100 degrees, cools down and is collected as pure water, and the salt will be left in the round bottom flask. You can also use fractional distillation, and that's when you're se separating a mixture of liquids with different boiling points. So you'd start with the lowest boiling point, evaporate that, and then keep raising the temperature to collect the next fraction. This is how crude oil is collected on a large scale, but it could also be used with something like ethanol and water to separate those. So because ethanol's got a lower boiling point than water, that can be heated and separated off first at about 78 degrees, as shown in the diagram. Chromatography. This is a different separation technique. This is to separate mixtures of dyes and inks. To do this practical, you would draw a line in pencil on some chromatography paper or, or filter paper. It's important this line is in pencil because pencil is insoluble with the solvent so it won't run or smudge. And then on the pencil line, you would add the spots of the ink or dye that you're trying to separate. You'll then gently lower that paper into a beaker of solvent. Now normally this can be water, 
but it might not be. If the ink doesn't dissolve in water, it might be that you use ethanol. You then leave, and as the solvent moves up the paper, it starts to separate out the inks at different rates. And when it just about reaches the top of the paper, you would take it out and leave it to dry. If you look at the example underneath, this shows that the brown ink is actually a mixture of red, blue and yellow ink. And blue is the most soluble because it's travelled the furthest. Here's some key questions. If you pause the tutorial now, give yourself 10 minutes. So how is rock salt separated? Well, you grind it first of all, then add water. You'd filter out the sand using a filter paper and filter funnel. And then you would evaporate the water from the salt water using an evaporating basin. And that would leave crystals of salt. What is simple and fractional distillation? Simple distillation separates a liquid from a solution. For example, water from salt water. Fractional distillation separates out mixtures of liquids. For example, ethanol and water mixed together. What's a simple method for paper chromatography? You draw a line in pencil one centimeter from the bottom of the paper. You add your small spots of ink to the pencil line. You lower it into the solvent. You then leave the solvent to move up the paper and separate out the ink. As it reaches the top, you take it out and leave it to dry. So we've looked at mixtures in this topic and we've looked at three practicals, chromatography, filtration and crystallation to separate rock salt and distillation.